Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, especially for this video, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a fight that's going to take place in an hour or so. This is just an upset alert, right? We're looking for plays that might lose because the underdog is a huge underdog. But it seems like a casino mispricing to me because, quite frankly, I have suspicions about the favorite. We're talking about the fight between favorite fighter and unbeaten fighter Gilberto Romero Sanchez. He's 27 and 0 with 21 knockouts. And he's fighting Giovanni Lorenzo. Right now, understand Lorenzo typically fights at middleweight. This fight is at super middleweight. Here's the point. Right? I don't know who's going to win this fight. But Lorenzo somehow is a 7 to 1 underdog. Think about it. A 7 to 1 underdog. Right? He got knocked out last year by Danny Jacobs, but understand Danny Jacobs is an elite fighter. Right? Understand too that Lorenzo has been in the ring with guys like Sam Solomon and Hassan and Jikam, not to mention Felix Stern. He lost all three of those fights, but understand he went 12 rounds in all three of those fights. Now I've looked at Gilberto Romero Sanchez. He strikes me as a bit of a free swinger who really needs room to operate. He seems to be getting by to me on size and punching power more than boxing technique. So, while I don't know who's going to win this fight, I can tell you if you're looking for a long shot play on which to bet, not big money, not even medium money, but just a flyer, right? Cab fare money in the hopes of being able to buy a round at the pub. Take a hard look at this fight. Lorenzo as a 7 to 1 underdog to me represents compelling value. It's possible that Lorenzo, who quite frankly was in the Danny Jacobs fight before he got knocked out, it's possible that Lorenzo will figure out that if he gets inside on Sanchez and doesn't give Sanchez a chance to extend his arms, Sanchez might prove to be very limited. Let me also point out that Sanchez doesn't strike me as having, despite a great record, excellent hand speed. I don't see it. So I think this is a prospect who hasn't really fought anyone, right, who has your typical big unblemished record early in his career before he starts fighting guys at a world-class level. So I like Lorenzo here simply as a value player. I don't know if he wins the fight or not, but what I do think I know is that if these guys fought eight times, I don't think Giovanni Lorenzo loses seven of the eight. That's what a 7-1 to underdog means. So, the gambler is looking for a value play. This fight is going off later today at 168. Right? Consider Giovanni Lorenzo the 7 to 1 underdog. Right? I'm not too concerned about winning percentage so much as I am beating the casino in the long run and getting a return. You're not going to do that if all you take are favorites. You're going to have to look for live underdogs. Giovanni Lorenzo, in my opinion, is a live underdog in this one. Seven to one, it's outrageous, but I believe it's possible. Let me hear from you. If there is some late-breaking information that you feel we in the gambling community need to know of, if you know that Giovanni Lorenzo is suffering from a cold or looked terrible in sparring, got knocked down, 
or that uh, Sanchez has been sparring with elite fighters and has looked good in sparring, let us know in the comment section to this video. Let's use this as a bulletin board to exchange information in the hopes of beating the casino. Thanks for stopping by.